We here we go. We're oh. live. All right, here you go. It is the Wally Show Aftercast. It's one of our podcasts uh, that we do every day after our regular radio show. But today we're doing it as a Facebook Live, so you get to see these beautiful faces. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so thanks uh, for being on with us. You can always leave comments and stuff as we're talking about things. And at the end of the show, we're actually going to take some of your comments. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get through as much of this as I can. Full disclosure: If all of a sudden I duck out, it's because I have a kidney stone right now. And, <laughs> and you're is, doing good the whole day. Like, no problems at all. Perfect timing. I know. Yeah. I, I had its giant coffee, and I don't think that helped. Mm-hmm. And so, like, and it, bacon. I, I have passed a kidney stone on the air before. Uh, and Ow. so I, if I have to, I will do that again. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. But if I duck out for a second, that's why. And then Gavin and Betty, you're in charge. Not in that, necessarily in that order. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Gavin's like, I got promoted. <laughs> I'm jumping to that side. Oh, man. All right. So. Before we get started, uh, we had some guests come in today, uh, which is really great. We have uh, Joseph and Kathy with us. And Gavin, always the uh, uh, king gonna... of awkward conversations. I'm not. Because uh, we were asking Joseph, we're like, hey, dude, would you like a seat? And he's like, no, I'm good. And Gavin's like, you look like you got strong legs. <laughs> and uh, I didn't say it like that I either. thought it was like that. Yeah. Can you get a shot of his legs, please, Zachary? Are they, are they, are they strong? Are they strong? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not saying you're not right, but I'm just saying that like that you don't want to well, lead with that with your guests. Well, yesterday I did do. Oh, I sound so broy when I do this. I did a leg day yesterday at the gym, so I've been in the. I've been noticing. I'm done. You've talking. been noticing. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm wow. done. I'm just thankful you didn't do a glute day. <laughs> so I've been noticing a lot of glutes today. Oh, uh... oh my goodness! All right, well that is fantastic. Okay, so uh, what are the things we've been talking about. We we like internet trends and stuff that is uh, going around, and we like to try them or test them out sometimes. And uh, today, we're going to test one that I'm going to say, full disclosure, I am a skeptic of this. I'm a skeptic of a lot of things, and so... Uh, I cannot be hypnotized because I will not accept that I can be. And I think that this little thing, this little experiment, when I watch people freak out online, I think it's because they want it to happen. And so it happens. So I think that it will not happen for me because it's supposedly an involuntary reaction from your body. Well, yes. Okay. So this is like a challenge that I saw on TikTok and it's going around. It's viral right now. But supposedly, supposedly... When you put a hanger over your head, you have to take like your hat so, off too. But when you do this, yeah. your face, your head is going to just automatically go to the side that has the hook on it. Like it'll turn. Yeah, and scientists can't explain why this is happening. Scientists, okay. yeah, like scientists TikTok can't explain. Scientists. I love that people are <laughs> professionals are looking at this. Now I want to go Betty, Gavin, me, because again I'm the skeptic, but I have a I have a fear that Gavin's head will break the hanger. That is the risk that we're going with here because I'm looking at that hanger and I know how big my head is. Right. Every time I wear a hat, I'm literally on the last button. So I, I think you're gonna have to take your hat off, Rock. Well, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it first with the hat. Okay. If it doesn't work, okay. then I'll take it off and I'll try it without. Okay. So yeah, I, this is the thing though. I, I think if you're cognizant of something, that it, it won't happen. True, but that's what happened on. TikTok. TikTok, people were cognizant of that, and but it still happened. They're all fakers. And I learn everything on TikTok, and so do you. I know. I love TikTok, but they're all fakers. That's the thing. So, okay, yeah. let's try well, it with you first. Okay. Maybe start with going over the, like, from the bottom of the brim of your hat over like and that. And I would say that maybe, oh, no, like... no, no, no. You're supposed to just go like yeah, this. Okay. Like a, oh, I would say something. maybe do yeah, it with yeah. your eyes closed, too, because every time... Oh, you... Just I was trying it. to stretch it. I, it's a plastic hanger. Betty. It literally is the only hanger we have. And I literally was like, okay, don't break it. Okay. Wait a minute. What Wait did you a just minute. Do? No, li- well, I've got strength, that's for sure. But no, <laughs> listen, you're judging me? Yes. Yesterday. What? Yesterday I had another hanger, and then you broke that. Okay, what? you oh, you, you have, did? No, she yes. has stupid cheap hangers. I, her hanger, I tapped it against my iron calf, and it stretch? broke. Like, the hanger broke up. But she reaches out and stretches the hanger as far as she could stretch it. What in the world are you thinking? Look in the uh, hallway. Look in the hallway. I can't believe this whole thing is being sidetracked by one hanger. Now we have to find. Oh, look in the Zach hallway. Found one. Zach he did. Found okay. No, one. he did not. Okay. He found one. Ruth. Yes. Ruth. Ruth. Let me okay. stretch this. Don't no. stretch it. Holy oh. smoke. You are a knucklehead. Stop. Stop pulling just, on it. My head's not going to fit for it. That's the idea. Yeah. Is it just barely goes up. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, yeah, I was ready the first okay. time. Okay. Okay. Look, it's not breaking. Ooh. Okay. 
Yeah, see? Your head doesn't even remotely move. It doesn't feel like it needs to move. No, it doesn't remotely move. See, that's the thing. I do believe in the power of suggestion. And when people say, oh, if you put this coat hanger on your head, it makes your head turn. And yeah, try it without it and see if it hits the side of your head. Don't break it. I love her thinking face. Did you see her thinking face? Did she do the tongue thing? She did. The it tongue goes painful. To the... Oh my gosh! No, no, it, it went did away. Not. No, it no, went no. away. And it went the wrong way. It went the, the wrong, wrong way. way. But I, I didn't do it. All of that checks out too. <laughs> no way! I did do it, but I didn't that do it. You know what I'm okay. saying? Try it fake. again. I did. Now let go, and then just let your hands let go. go. No! no. Yeah, it's, it's the wrong, wrong way. way. I know it's the wrong way, but it, it really did. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Gavin, okay, do it. Okay, do okay. it. I'm not lying. I just well, here's, hand on the Bible. Okay, here's the part I love about this. If, not gonna... if, if it wasn't real, okay, let me go second. Then, okay. if it wasn't real, uh, like, 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 or if that was real for you, Rock, I just love that it went the wrong way. <laughs> like, <laughs> like science says, it goes towards the hanger, and Betty Rock's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, huh. <laughs> like, I absolutely love that about her. Okay, so again, I am the ultimate skeptic here. I do not believe this will work, and so here we go. I'm going to place this on my head. Okay. Do I do now that? let go. Nothing. Have you got it down low enough? Yeah, yeah. you do. It's on. I, it's you on know the what it is? You know what it is? Ouch. There's nothing in there to turn. Ooh. Yeah, okay. You know, like there's no brain. I'll try it one more time. I'm going to loosen my neck, too. I'm just going to do it like this. Oh, my God! No, I'm kidding. Stop. <laughs> Betty's face was like, this is amazing. Actually, there was a little, a full disclosure, it did before I did the joke, it did feel like I was going to go a little bit to the right. So one more time. Yeah, you can't be, okay. It Like, my head did a little bit. Like, I think some people are super dramatic about it, but my head did go a little my, bit. Honestly, it was not under my control. Really? You've so been controlled by a coat hanger. No, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> lying. All right, Gavin, see if you can cram <sighs> your big head in that. Whoop. Wow. Okay. Hurt people, hurt people. I just love that she stretched the plastic hanger to start this off. You and broke stretched it. the one from yesterday. I did it. Okay, yes, Gavin. Did. Oh, my head. goodness. Oh, oh, oh. oh, gosh, it hurts to put on my head. Okay. Okay. Then let it go. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing going on here except like pain that I've got a hanger on my head. Yeah. Wait, yeah, let yeah. me try it one more time. Okay. I, 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 honestly, it was n- honestly. Yeah. I mean, this honest, truthful. You know, you don't. I know lie you don't lie on honest, honest truthful. truthful. That's our rule on in my life, my family, really, and the show. Okay, I'm gonna put the hook on this side. Now. That's a good idea because maybe you're an and you're not yeah. an Amby Turner. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. A yeah. What? Amby Turner. It's from Zoolander. No. Nothing. Okay, nothing's happening. No. Uh-uh. So if you if you put it back to the other side. Oh my gosh, no. guys, guys, I'm serious. You're this not putting such, it low enough. This is not. No, I'm I serious. I literally can't get that low. <laughs> no. I'm, se- I'm serious. No. no. Give okay, me that. Let me do it. I'm not, There's no, it there is no absolute way on earth. I don't earth believe this. That was real. I mean, it does hurt. She's putting it at slight. No. See? No. Mm. No. It's no, I it's not real. You. Oh. oh, it's stuck. <laughs> yeah, let, me, yeah, let me do that, please. You can't get it off. And this one actually hurts. Guys, that really worked. I, that like, did not. that's witchcraft. But we're talking about <laughs> two scary. out of there's two out of three it didn't work right. on. The math works in our favor. I wonder if there's an IQ thing with it. <laughs> it no, I meant you didn't let me finish. That people of higher intelligence, it turns their head. Because that's what didn't I meant. Didn't she get a higher score? Than it doesn't you did. work when I have the hat on. Yeah. That's what's weird. All right. Well, there you go. I, I, if this was MythBusters, which I love that show. No, see, this I would is, call yeah, this busted because you're supposed to go this but way. Sometimes right. it does, and sometimes it doesn't. I know. I would call this. I would call this completely busted. And Me so too. I'm never trusting TikTok again. That's what I've learned. Oh my God, this. guys! No, it did I'm not. No. Serious. <laughs> She's, she's so, so so gullible. She's such a knucklehead. All right, oh. so she got weapon. I know uh, that I, was real. <laughs> all right, so again, you can comment uh, throughout the uh, live if you choose to. So this is uh, our freaky. aftercast and some of the things that we do like that. Uh, also, uh, talk about life stuff. I went to see Top Gun yesterday, and mm-hmm. I have to tell you. As far as sequels go, it was an amazing sequel, okay? Now, I know there's going to be things in the movie that maybe you don't want your kids to see, things like that. They do have a love scene in there. But as far as that goes in Hollywood, they actually handled it um, uh, with with, uh, sensitivity and, like, it wasn't wasn't, – 
uh, raunchy or whatever, you know. That's good. And so that was good. It, the the funny thing about it is it actually didn't need to be in there. They had established enough the, of the relationship that you felt this, and like they could have totally left it out. And I actually thought they were going to for a while, and I was kind of hoping they would, because uh, the movie is about the flying, you know. And 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 so, thirty six years did you say, Gavin? Yeah, because the first one came out in, and maybe I'm doing the math. No, I think I am. Nineteen eighty six to twenty. 22 we are talking about 36 years yeah, yeah in which the is making super old and uh like as far Not as that sorry because uh, yeah, betty's 37 sorry <laughs> but like as far as movies go like sequels go this was a great sequel to the first one because it has a lot of things it pays homage to from the past and there's certain things you're like oh i want to see this again and there's certain things that you expect to be there and they did a good job of having all of that kind of stuff in there and the storyline was pretty good it was interesting that there was no like actual enemy though uh because we're so politically correct in this gravity day and age. is the enemy Gra- Gravity, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, and so it's like we're not fighting, you know, uh, you know, Afghanistan or something. We're fighting some people, and they're our enemy, you know. So it's just, it was interesting from that. Here's perspective. what you're to me. I find interesting because you went to the movie to see it with two of your best buddies, yes. Zach from the show, we used to be on the show, yeah, and Gregor Bear, your yeah. best friend, and yet you three took up. Five, five seats. seats. The proper number of seats. To have a seat between each. Yeah. Zach, man. come in here, Zach. Everyone loves Zach. Zach used to be on the show, and I, everybody loves Zach. Can I ask a question about yes. what the audience of this movie looked like? Was it a lot of 40 to 50 year old men at uh, this movie, or yeah. was it diverse? <clears throat> There was women. There were some older guys. There was one older guy that had game. This guy nice. was amazing. Okay. So the uh, the theater was not packed, but it was kind of full. And so uh, this guy, Kevin, uh, the reason I know his name is because his <laughs> wife shouted it out because uh, they were both like 70. So Kevin sits too close to the screen. Like he sits in the first set of section, the first section down. And she's like, Kevin! Kevin! It's too close, Kevin! You're too close! And he's he just looked at her and was like, just shook his head. He just <laughs> waved her off. He didn't even acknowledge like with words her presence. He's like, and he's, so he's I like, see, I'm in the danger zone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I see her uh, get up, and so she's because she had sat in another seat, and then she just shakes her head like, oh, more of the same, and then walks up a bunch of rows. But Kevin sat there for the whole. So restaurant. they sat in different. Uh, Places? Yeah, yeah, they sat in different places. Nice. He sat there for the whole movie with the exception of two restroom breaks. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I don't know why I was so fascinated by Kevin. I might have missed part of the Kevin. movie. Okay, back to the, the topic at hand, yes. the most important one. Zachary, when you went there, I know you and Wally don't get to hang out as much as you used to, mm-hmm. which is probably a sad factor. It is. Uh, I, I would find it wonderful. You but, seem happier. Um, what, did, did it hurt your feelings when you walked in there and you saw where Wally wanted to sit a, a seat away from you? Did you think you had like a disease or something? No, because we weren't sure how to handle that. So we were the first two there. Yeah, of course. And Gregor Bear wasn't there yet. Right. So we sat with the empty chair between us. And right. then it was up to Greg whether he would sit in that middle seat or if he would keep the one seat of protection. If he had sat in the middle seat, would you two have made fun of him for the rest of the evening? And we would have moved. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would have gone and sat with Kevin. <laughs> Because Kevin not knows what how to do this. Do. <laughs> no, it is what friends do. Don't, wait, 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 wait. If you mm-hmm. were with another friend of yours, Zachary, uh-huh. would you have the same rule? I, I think it's a luxury, not a rule. Like, yeah. you get two armrests. If it's an Ooh. airplane, you're doing that. Yeah. Like, we're not talking during the movie anyway. Yeah. And Wally mm. didn't want to share my popcorn, so no. it didn't matter. <laughs> another, another foul. He's like, you want to share? I'm like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. No. Rather, rather not eat ever again. <laughs> um, as our hands hit going for the bucket at the same time, I'm like, no! Uh, no, so, uh, but what's funny is uh, Zach and I, both as we walked in, we both like stood there for a split second looking at the seats and knowing, hmm. well, we've got to have this conversation, I guess. So we're like, <laughs> are we doing the seat in between? And so we decided in that moment, we're like, all right, let's do this. We'll put the seat in between, then we'll test Greg. And uh, Greg walks in, and it's so funny because Greg walks in and goes, so we're doing the seat in between, I think. It. <laughs> like, which is funny because he could have just assumed, oh, they're letting me sit in the middle, but I think he thought, 
obviously that oh Zach and Wally are friends and he doesn't know Zach as well so I would just sit right next to him so he must have factored all this out all in a split second <laughs> but then he made the right decision sat a seat away from us and then we all enjoyed the movie it was great That's so sad to me because as a woman I like to walk in there and sit right next to my friend yeah. so that we can talk about things if we have a question wait what is going on I'm not sure hey can I have a snip of that coke that you're yeah, drinking no. yes. like all these little yeah. things it just is sad to me that you guys feel like you need to be loners or yeah. something. It's sad to me that you would go to movies where you have to talk to understand the plot. Right. Like, like this is planes flying fast yeah. and gravity, and that's it. We <laughs> don't need to discuss how it makes us feel. No. We don't need to talk about the finer points. It's just a so drill. Good. Another question. Yeah. Yes. We talked about this before y'all were going to go. You, the volleyball shirtless scene yeah. with Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You threatened to go shirtless, yeah. did you? I'm thankful I did not now, and here's okay. why. <laughs> Everyone's uh, thankful. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. This is the only reason I'm thankful I didn't go. Uh, so I had uh, brought some raisinets with me because I'm a big fan <laughs> of raisinets. And so I didn't realize this till after the movie. So we're in the preview. So oh, right no. in the beginning of the movie, I somehow lose a raisinette. And you know that feeling when it starts. You're like, where did that go? Like, how did I just drop a raisinette and I can't find it. So you're feeling all over your 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 chest. You're kind of even reaching down in the seat, you know, because I don't want to sit on this thing. So I can't find it. It's a mystery. I just feel I just feel like it felt the need for speed and it just <laughs> went hypersonic <laughs> and it disappeared. And so uh, I come out of the movie theater and I look down and I just have chocolate all over my shirt on my bracelets, on my arms I look like a four year old child that's eating raisinets for the first time it was, it was, I'm like what just happened? Have I been shot by Willy Wonka? You know? And then it dawned on me, I'm like it must have fallen somewhere on my chest or my shirt and then as I kept crossing my arms through the movie, I just moved this raisinette chocolate all over myself And again, correct application of guy code, yeah. we were saying in there for five minutes both greg and i noticed immediately yeah. neither of us said anything didn't say what? anything we didn't need to embarrass you nope let me no. look down and yeah. i went oh what in the world and then i figured it all out and then uh greg and zach were both like oh yeah we figured you were working in the garage before you came here and had it on you they ahead did of time. not say yeah that. they did, did just they some not? grease absolutely yeah, yeah absolutely and like yeah why would we say anything to you no you know there's a problem. Why do I need to bring it up? <laughs> Women on the other point are like, You're going to hey. point it out because you get secondhand embarrassment. But what can I do about it? Like, there's nothing I can do about it. You like, look like a four-year-old child. A friend fine. wouldn't want you to look that but way. But I couldn't do anything. Like, if, if one of them had, uh, then if one of them was like, let me solve this for you. Let me give you my shirt uh, inspired oh. by the shirtless football <laughs> scene. And that's the other reason we avoided it. Because yes. we're like, this is the perfect excuse for Wally to rip off a shirt. Yes, we, no, exactly. No. Well, guys, I'm going to have to lose this shirt. <laughs> uh -uh. And then everyone just parts. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> that was fun. We'll see you in another 36 years for a sequel. <laughs> so Wally mentioned earlier, Zachary, that there was a man sitting behind y'all and he oh, was yes. crying. Yes. Yes. Did you have a moment of emotional outburst? Because Wally said he was close at one point. I, I choked up. I did choke up. It is totally understandable and uh, <laughs> acceptable. Yes. I thought he had a cold at first, yeah. but then he just kept going and go, like he was really yeah. broken up. Yeah. You you just can't, can't hear him sniffle. <laughs> and this is what I love about it and being in this movie because he was like, guys, guys, I just want to let you know I ha I don't have COVID. I do not have COVID. I am just really moved by it. <laughs> you know? And we were all like, absolutely. Understandable. No, he should have been like, guys, I have COVID. <laughs> yeah. He's like, guys, I just want to tell you I'm, I'm fully uh, communicable right now. I'm well, very contagious. Top go sit by, yeah. Yeah. Go go sit by, by Kevin. Go sit by Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin. all in all, uh, still like I, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a, a good offering, which I was surprised because I'd heard all the hype about it, and uh, I was surprised. Another thing that surprised me. This was probably the biggest surprise. If you remember Zach from the show, you remember the legendary tales of his cheapness. Uh, <laughs> he would search through uh, bins of uh, trash bins at movie theaters and pull out pockets of popcorn that people had not finished and eat that. Uh, what? Like, yeah, I mean, it was it was oh. legendary. Uh, you wipe it off first. I know, I know. But Zach Five actually uh, hit, bought popcorn uh -huh. and a soda. I, was like, I didn't know who I was with. I brought I brought raisinets and a bottle of water in. <laughs> When there's a special event, like even when I'm on vacation mode, it's just uh, because it happens infrequently. It's not a, a – habits are more important financially to me than one-time things. But sure. this was like 
a big event. I started putting it on the calendar in 2020 was when it was supposed to come out, yeah. and then it got oh yeah bumped back for two years. So I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> yeah. This was worthy. I was this close to buying the commemorative tin. I, I was a little upset you didn't. That was that was like six dollars more, and I just ugh, and you got a kid. Can't. You could have blamed it on her. I wanted Anna to have this. I could. I, I know, could have. but I won't let her play with that. <laughs> yeah, Are you kidding me? it's an heirloom. <laughs> I know, but you just tell everyone that <laughs> you and the guy crying behind you. Yeah. He had one. I wanted to buy one for Kevin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> oh, so much fun though. So anyway, that was that was a, a little bit of a, a, a good time, and it was fun to go uh, and see uh, the movie with you and uh, Gregor Bears and and, and do it as manly as possible. Yeah. It was fun. It it was fun skipping out of work about two hours early, but yeah. I got about. 58 texts during the thing about work like all of a sudden oh, yeah. no one needed me all day yeah. and then the second and it, it was the second the movie started not during the previews yeah. not during the trailers the second it started to bring, bring, <laughs> yeah. bring, 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 bring. i got one from my daughter and i'm like right now in this moment you know i love you but you are less important than Tom Cruise. <laughs> i will talk to you in two hours and 30 minutes <laughs> And then she hit me back. Is your shirt still on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good clarify. Oh, all yeah. right. So uh, let me see. Let's get on to some of the stuff that we normally do here in the aftercast. Zach, thank you so much. Some of the big stories. Uh, boy, I always like when you see uh, the news, the mainstream media covering stories we've already talked about on the show. And they actually on uh, Good Morning America covered the Lutheran Church Charities Canine Ministries that were going down to help out children and people in uh, Uvalde, Texas, which I thought was so cool. And so that's a nice little up, update to that. Like they actually covered it and talked about all the things mm -hmm. uh, that they do and how they just kind of sit with people and they'll pray with people and, and mm -hmm. make a difference. Yeah, because I feel like sometimes when people are going through a hard time, you feel like you need to have the right words to say yeah. but sometimes people don't want words they just want you to just sit with them yeah and then and like what who's better to sit with you than a dog sit okay <laughs> you know like and they don't talk to you they and don't offer so advice because that's a hard thing man i think so many times we think we need to give words to a situation and and i and i'm so guilty of this like because we work in a business where dead air is not acceptable and so there are so many times that you are like um uh, like you fill those spaces mm -hmm. with with conversation and in a tragedy or when somebody's really hurting sometimes it is better just to sit in silence i think i think inside of judaism they call it sitting shiva where when somebody passes you just sit with them you don't even yeah. speak you're just present mm -hmm. and i think that that's really cool and if you can do it with a a, a puppy that's going to also like get some cerebellum going in your brain and make you feel good. Mm -hmm. Like that's a good thing. Cause uh, sometimes words are the worst in that, mm -hmm. you know, you know, when people go through loss and everyone's trying to make sense of it and they'll say some of the most inappropriate things for the time, even though there's true, well, God has a plan for this. And I, I know that I know that's truth in that, but you have to kind of like with your kids, you have to decide what's age appropriate for them. And I think that that's the case with, tragedy yes there is so much truth and god has a plan and god can redeem things but give it a beat you know wait mm -hmm. for a little bit and see what this person i always think it's smarter to go off the tone of the person because there are some people in the middle of a tragedy you watch them turn everything to god instantly i was at uh toby's son's funeral truly mm -hmm. like three years ago and it was fascinating to watch the difference between him and his wife amanda who was really struggling through this and was really angry at the way things went down for her son. And obviously so. They had two very different perspectives on this. And so you would handle each of them differently as you were talking to them. But I've watched some people out of the uh, shooting in Texas where they are instantly going, you know what, this person, you know, this child was the love of my life, but boy, God is good. And so then if that person is in that place, Jump in there with them and, mm -hmm. and, and, and and share your heart in that. But if they're not in that place, that's where I believe in step back, be quiet, share lyrics from songs. That's another thing. I really believe sometimes, you know, these artists write these songs and they spend time crafting the message better than we can do in the moment, you know? And I think that sharing songs and lyrics from songs is one of the best things that you can do when people are hurting. So uh, just a little update on that. Lady Rock, what do you got? Uh, I know Gavin and I are super excited about this, but Ooh, yes. Stranger Things season four uh, just kicked off today. 
Um, I'm just a brand new fan. Like, I just started watching it maybe three or four months ago. So not that long ago. Oh, yeah. But worked through all the seasons pretty quick. It's really good. Um, but season four is coming out today. But Netflix did make uh, an announcement that they were putting a warning on the first episode oh, of why? season four. Because it opens with um, violence that's happening between kids. And because of the shooting mm. that happened recently... Um, they just want to give a warning out that, like you were saying, yeah. some people might not be in that place and want to see that kind of thing. So It's interesting because um, a lot of times when this happens, shows have already had something in the can and they'll push off uh, you know, a, a premiere of something because they want to not look tone deaf or be insensitive. So it's interesting that instead of pushing it off, they just did a disclaimer. So maybe mm-hmm. it's not the same type of violence. I would imagine if it was a oh, shooting, yeah. oh, they, oh, yeah. I would hope yeah. they would go, let's give this yeah. a beat. I was struck by one thing. I started watching it too because you guys were telling me about it and I got sucked into the story of it, but I am a little like surprised. Like I can't sit there and endure this show is like oh watch this with your kids because it's all about kids and mm-hmm. so you think oh it's going to be like this family type thing but it really isn't like the kids like they swear and stuff like that you're like ah that's kind of sad um you know so i can't say it from that standpoint but it is interesting that like it's told from the stories of like the perspective of the 80s which i thought i would love and would be all about because i'm an 80s kid but actually the story part of it drug me in more than the 80s part like i feel the 80s is there but it's not the prevalent prevalent part of it like i like Mm -hmm. i like that's what people told me in the beginning right well i'd say the music is really 80s yeah and how they're dressed is 80s that too and whenever i was because i watched i rewatched the first episode uh, like last weekend and whenever you're watching that first episode before you kind of divvy into like the paranormal aspect right. of it, it honestly kind of has the vibe of what could be like a true crime podcast right. kind of vibe to it right. of people missing and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come in with the, oh, that's well, what's happening. Well, I'm not there yet. Yeah, don't tell me. And, and I'm not even sure. I'm kind of, it scares me a little bit. Uh, before we move on to weekend plans, because that's something we always do, uh, can you do me a favor, uh, Zachary, who's running our mobile cam here? Uh, can you get a shot uh, here of Joseph for me? But and, not his legs. Yeah, no, Joseph, are the legs still doing good? You're still good? Okay, good. I want to make sure. It's been a long time he's been standing there. I know. And Gavin, I could see he was worried. He slid me a note. Says uh, I did. Uh, he no. did. He said, check on Joseph's legs. And I said, okay. Literally have no paper over here. I, I will do that. I know. I don't know how you got it to me. Stranger things. Okay. So uh, with that, this is a segment we do every Friday. We can plans. We can plans. Everyone's got them. We can plans. All right. Uh, I will go first. I have had a building project at my house that I've been working on, and the rain has kept me from doing it, and I've been working on it for weeks. I've had a lot of figuring out to do. I'm building this, like, barbecue thing. I've always wanted to do this. I've figured it all out, and I started building it. Then the rain slowed me down, and my wife went out of town. So I'm like, oh, not like, sweet. <laughs> uh, I know it sounded like I was going to say sweet. Well, uh, what were you going to say? Instead of being, you know, sad and depressed that she's right. gone, you're like, I can still do good things while she's gone. Exactly. I had to pour myself into work because I was so sad. A hero. Hey, oh. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, that's what I was planning on doing. But then she was going to be gone all day today. She wasn't planning on getting home from Florida, seeing our daughter until like 10 o'clock tonight. And I told her, well, why don't you come a little earlier? I don't want you driving that late. Come home a little earlier. I just got a text like she's over halfway home. I'm like, wait, what? Like, I still have things I need to do today. <laughs> and she's been gone for a week, and she's going to want to, uh, like, to talk and, and share uh-huh, feelings and, uh-huh. and, and spend time together. Update you about your daughter? <laughs> yes, all that stuff. But I'm like, this is horrible timing. Wow. Like, I, I want to get this finished. And I and I'm and when I have a task, I want to finish this task. I hope she comes and gives you the silent treatment. No. Like, if, if she does, <laughs> she can sit out there with me. And, and that's she how I want watch. people uh, silent is when I'm working on something. So that's uh, my plans is to try and actually get this thing uh, finished this weekend and still spend time with my lovely wife, who I have missed so much <laughs> yeah. uh, Gavin uh, so okay I've told this to both of you uh, tonight I am embarking on a nerd journey to play Dungeons and Dragons oh my goodness I know <laughs> how old are you again I'm like, 26 is this a high school thing I know plenty of people who are older than me that do play it because really? it's apparent I think it takes a lot of brain power to make <laughs> it happen to execute it <laughs> our cameraman is literally nodding he's doing the same thing today there's two, okay. two of us in the room, the we, youngest people. Let me just tell you this. He has tattoos. He can do it. He's cool. 
I thought about getting wait, tattoos. Wait, 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 wait. You think tattoos make you cool? Absolutely. That's why I got one. <laughs> it's a little scrap of me. Zachary. Oh, yeah, you got none. Oh, let me pull in Zachary <laughs> uh, here. Come in, come into the shoot over here. Tell me, looking at his scrabble piece of tattoo, what do you think? Is that cool or not? Compared to yours. Compar- is, is it compared to mine or just... Uh, no, go off your base instinct. He has a flower on his arm, okay? So it's, it's a leaf. It's, you know, so... Like on a scale of one to ten, ten being Dwayne the Rock Johnson, where is he? Uh, oh, be careful. Probably Moana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a Disney princess? Wow. That was That a, wasn't even on the chart. Oh, that was actually a that perfect was awesome. perfect response <laughs> well to done. that. That is really funny. Uh okay, so you are gonna be doing this. Yeah, with, doing that tonight. We're gonna go see a double yes, I will be playing Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> and Avoiding Girls. Yes. <laughs> to add on to that, it's also Harry Potter based. Oh, so please. Yes. Okay, moving on. Tomorrow we'll go see Top Gun. And Downton Abbey. <laughs> I, I I would really interested to hear which one you like better. I hope it's Top Gun. <laughs> He's gonna come back because Betty Rock has already seen Downton Abbey. He's it's gonna so come good. back tomorrow, and I'm gonna still or Monday, Tuesday. I'm gonna still be wanting to talk about Downton Abbey, and these two are gonna kavetch over Downton. Or, or I'm still, still wanting to Would see Down, Top Gun. <laughs> Freudian, like a slip. Okay, you got me. I want to see Downton. I'm just jealous. I'll listen. Uh, but you two will be talking about Downton Abbey, I'm yeah. sure. Uh, Karen said that your beard gives you wizard cred. <laughs> I love that. You, I'll take it. You are a little wizardy. Yeah, I could <laughs> see you. that. I could see that. Lady Rock, what about you? Oh, what am I doing? Tonight I'm doing nothing, and that is great. Nice. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to go to the flea market. Oh, is that oh, tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, and my wife will want to go to that. Yeah. I did not know that. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll probably yeah. do, do that too. So I think I'm going to do that and probably hang out by the pool with some friends of mine. Then we're nice. going to have a movie night that night too. Nice. Sunday is church and then Monday is we're off. We're off. Just, I might just sit and stare at the wall. Yeah, I can see that. I did not know it was the thing. I'm, I'm work, I need to build an end table too. I have a lot of projects. It keeps me busy. And so I need to go to the flea market because they have a bunch of like old pieces of junk that I make into stuff. Which So thank you for reminding me of that, Rock. All right. Do you have any birthdays today? Because we always do birthdays and a question. That's the I price of a birthday. I do. Okay. What do you got? Uh, let's see. I've got DJ. DJ. She said, uh, loves the Wally show. Betty Rock is the bomb. So oh, she is the bomb. Happy birthday, I agree. DJ. And then Andrew, today is his birthday. He said, I am 43. Whoa. Host the Speaking for Him podcast and came to interview Wally in June of 2015. Oh my gosh, that's a long time Just ago. Just wanted to shout out. Oh, well, there you go. Happy birthday, Happy man. Happy birthday. All right. Um, Customary, the price of a birthday is a question. Go. That is true. But instead of doing that, we're going to take questions from our Instagram because oh, we've good. asked people for okay, questions. Let's do it. Let's do Instagram, it. Instagram, Facebook, all those things. You can still comment too, and we'll see if we can get yes. to some. Yes. So, we go. first off, let's start with some Instagram questions. Jeff wanted to ask because you're new to pickleball. Wally, you yes. keep injuring your calves. I'm good now. Um, but Jeff wanted to ask if pickleball were an Olympic sport, and mm-hmm. maybe it is, who from Way FM, not just the Wally show, but who from Way FM would you pick to be your partners? Oof. Hmm. Betty Rock would lose interest and be like, hmm, this is dumb. <laughs> and like, so she would not be a good partner. That's true. Gavin would have a lot of energy, um, but I feel that he, I, I feel that he would, um, yeah. I feel that he, Yeah. Okay. I feel that he would try hard. There you go. What I do feel you mean? That, I feel that he would try really hard. Uh and 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 I, and I and I would probably be frustrated and I and I <laughs> want our relationship to be really good. Um, Me trying hard would ruin our Cuz you wouldn't be good at it. Like I think you would you, try hard but I don't think you'd be good at I'm it. I'm literally the athletic. Okay. You are? Well, I'd love to hear this. Sometimes I still think that I'm like 16 <laughs> and playing soccer five right. days a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get back there. Yeah. I rescind that comment. I think I think I would end up probably going with uh, Becca, who used to be on the show with mm. us as well, because she's super but tall. she also tries hard. I know, but she's super tall and she's more athletic than you. And so uh, oh, when you man. get up close to the net, it, it's hard to get the ball past people that are tall. And so mm. that would be a good thing. She oh. used to spike in volleyball. That's great. Yeah. Like, I can't even touch the top of a net in volleyball. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> um, then we got a Facebook uh, question from Scott who said, Who is the most famous person in your contacts? Mm. I don't know. We That's used to play super a, interesting. We used to play a fun game uh, between Zach and I because we both. Um, uh, 
would book artists for the show, and so somebody would give a letter, and we'd have to see who had the bigger uh, artist or celebrity in that letter. Like, mm-hmm. so let's try that. Give me, give me a random letter. Let's see who I have in there. Uh, P. P. All right, let me go down to the P's. Hold on, I got a P. Um, <laughs> you got a P. All right, let me see who I have here. I have Pastor Chad, uh, nah. Pastor Greg. Uh, let me see in the P's. Oh, come on now. Uh, Pete, Phil Jennings. Uh, oh wow. Nobody. P was not. You don't a big... have like a like a Phil Wickham or. No, I don't have Phil Wickham. That believe would it or not. Qualify a little bit. Yeah. Don't no. you have Toby Mac? Uh, well, yeah, I got Toby, that's a T. but that's a T. Well, then T. How about okay. uh, <laughs> so? Who else do you have in there that's a good T? A T? Okay. Yeah, you see. have Toby. Do you have another T though? I got Toby. Um, What's that see. guy that was third a, day? I got them. What's the uh, guy that got taken? Not not Liam. Liam. No, 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 no. The curly haired guy who was on the '80s sitcoms. Do you have his number? I don't know who that is. Are you? What are you talking about? You know, the Lord came back. I mean, not now, oh, but he did oh, in the movie. Cameron. Cameron. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I might have him. I have Toddy <laughs> Funk from Toby's band. Toddy uh, Funk. I like oh, that. Oh, Tommy Reed. Remember uh, Fluffy the Intern? Big oh, Fluffy. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, liked yeah, Fluffy. Yeah. Uh, Trevor from TFK. Oh, cool. Uh, let me see. Uh, who are you asking about again? I, I forget forgot his name. We Kurt. already forgot. Kurt Cameron. Kurt Cameron. Let's Cameron. see. If I have Kurt Cameron in here, I can't remember if I do or not. I thought we had traded contacts at one time. Is it KU? Uh, I think so. KI. K- no, not Kurt with an I. Uh, no, what? I don't actually. <gasps> what in the Loser. world? Loser. Yeah. If, if, you, if you're if you in this business and you don't have Kurt Cameron's uh, name in your phone, that is a problem. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, okay, we've got a Facebook question from Naomi. She said, Betty, if you could bring back Cinco de Betty next <sighs> year, but have Gavin be the victim, oh. what would you do? Would I be the victim? So good. Because that was where Betty Rock got one day a year to hurt me for all the mean things that I did to her. But then I started being nice to her, and I'm like, we can't do this anymore. Uh, and so, because she could. broke my knuckle, she tased me. There's still more. She dog shot collared me. She uh, waxed me, and there's no. She's been on left. this kick of wanting to like wax our noses. Nostrils, yeah. yeah I yeah, don't yeah. get that. I don't know it's why. It's thing you're I so, saw why? where you could, you could take like the Q tip yeah. and you put the wax on it, and then you I'd push it up do... the nose. I would not and then be. You pull it out. Opposed to doing this with Gavin next year. I, I would be opposed be either. Incredibly opposed, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, that's a good thought. You'd uh, say ouchy. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Or louder. Uh, let's see. We've got one from Abigail on Facebook. She said, "Have you ever been stuck on an amusement park ride because it had broke down and were you scared?" Yes. Was not scared. Uh, it was at Disney. It was on the Pirates of the Caribbean, and it got stuck. And a guy in hip waders had to come out and push the boat back to the dock. Huh. And I was taking pictures, and he's like, "No, no pictures, no pictures." I'm like, "Wait, what are you, the police?" Uh, yeah, what are you like, gonna do? I know. I'm like, okay, uh, guy, that's uh, like, uh, you know, just working here. Uh, so I took a couple still on the sly. I didn't post them though, because I just thought it was interesting. You could see everything. What was the ride? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, that's Disney the one World. with Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got stuck on... Um, Possum Hollow? No, that's at Dollywood. It's the thing you get in a barrel, um, and uh, they just roll you around a lot in our backyard. I got stuck. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> that's funny. Um, no, uh, I got stuck on Indiana Jones at oh, Disney in Disneyland. Land. Yeah. Yes, and that was my most recent experience. Um, that was back in April, so not that long ago. But we were stuck on there for a good solid 15 minutes. Mm. And it was just around the curve where that big boulder is supposed to come oh, down so and like drop frozen? down on oh, Yes, yeah, no. so we know it's coming, <laughs> yeah. and we were just got to sit there and wait for it. And the it impending was, doom. And it was, yeah, and it was sad because once the lights come on, you see that these little skeletons are just glow-in-the-dark painted on yeah. things. Everything is dusty. There's like wiring everywhere. It was loses just, the magic. Yeah, it just Absolutely. looked like, I was like a little creeped out by it thinking, I'm trusting them with my life so that they don't kill me. And, and there's duct tape. They can't tape. even bother to lint roll the place. <laughs> Gavin, yeah. you ever been stuck on one? Or no, I can't no. think of a time, but I've lived less life. Oh, so give me I like did, 10 years. I did get stuck upside down on a ride once. That's, that now seems it's, way it's worse. It's all starting to make sense. It was a zoom, It was called the Zoomerang. It was a, it, like local fairs. It would go around and around like this, and you sat in a full cage over you, and it went over, up, and down. Ooh. And it got to the top, and it got stuck. And so literally the whole weight of your body is on this thing on your on your belly. And I'm just hanging there like this. I was a little <laughs> kid. And it was hard to breathe because the thing's just pushing into my stomach. And I and I got stuck there. And it was probably a good like 
five or ten minutes, just stuck hanging there, and they finally got it going. That was, that was I, I do remember that. I've tried to block it out. That was scary. <laughs> that does sound pretty scary. Yeah. All right, one more question, then we got to go. Uh, let's see. We've got one from Stormy. She said, Betty, did you, why did you, as someone working in radio, decide to get the type of degrees you did at CCU, oh, a Colorado Christian? That's a good question. Um, so I got two degrees, one in healthcare administration. <laughs> in in what, memory. Like, what did I get? Uh, healthcare administration and psychology. Um, the psychology one has come in very handy oh, yeah. due to working with that one. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, that has helped. And then the healthcare is... I guess because Wally thinks that I'm going to travel with him once he gets old and feeble. Someone's take care of me. Take care of him, yeah, exactly. So. She's going to be my, my personal nurse. <laughs> <laughs> be like, I want applesauce. Yeah. I'll be like, too bad. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 30 <laughs> years from now, he'll still be like, my neck is cold. Yeah. <laughs> Elder abuse. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. No. Because <laughs> at, at one time, she, uh, like, she loved working with the elderly. And so her plan was when radio stopped, like, she would go and do this. And so I was like, oh, well, that's good. Get that degree. And then she's told me, she's like, I, I will keep doing this as long as you're here so she won't tell that to anybody else but she's told me that and so i'm like cool and so i'm not Ooh. retiring anytime soon see she <laughs> she just she loves me um and so uh like she got that but when you got the psychology degree i was surprised you double majored in that but i in all seriousness i've watched you use that and, and, and seen you kind of be interested by that more so than anything else. Mm -hmm. And so I could see you maybe doing something with that mm -hmm. in the future after this. But if nothing else, it's served you well here because uh, you've learned to deal with me in a really healthy manner. <laughs> uh, now if I could just get you to, you know, work with me. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's the other part. He's of just degree. your ultimate case study, though, yeah. that you can use that is on true. less crazy people. In the future. You could get your doctorate on me eventually. <laughs> you Just will be write everything down. Yeah, write everything down. You'll be fine. All right. Well, uh, with one that, thing. One what? thing. People have been commenting about the fact that I've been playing with this broken hanger. Yes, I have. Yes. I'm going to give it to a Gavin, though, since he's going to be playing. Uh, what is it? Not shoots and ladders, <laughs> but what is it? Yeesh. Dungeons, Dungeons and, and Dragons. Dragons. Abracadabra. Yeah. <laughs> Yeesh. I choose to roll the dice and oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Please I, don't. I have, <laughs> I have to find the the audio of Lewis, the Dungeons and Dragons nerd from when I was in another radio station, he carried a fanny pack and he had a 20-sided die in it and had characters and, and cards and all this stuff. Like, he lived this and the audio of him You two could be stories. best buds, yeah. Gavin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to find that. Maybe we'll play that on Tuesday when we get back. I'm it's, excited. It is glorious. And <laughs> I'm we'll get so an excited. Why am I? I'm no, not you, ashamed. That's yeah. right. You do you. You guys you, are bullying me into exactly. thinking that's right. that you it's know lame. What? I yeah. commend you, Gavin. There you go. Don't let us Thank Don't you. let us take your fun away. You go let your freak flag fly and you be you, okay? <laughs> that's not helping. No, it's, I'm uh, saying. It's not helping. Oh, I'm not good at this. So you uh, go do you. Yep. I, I like when people have something they're passionate about. And if that's your passion, then you do, do it all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> get, get it done, yes. All right, that's going to do it for your aftercast, for your Facebook Live, and uh, we'll be back on the show uh, normal on Tuesday. And as always, thanks for being a potty. There it is.